Hello and welcome to this very exciting video in my opinion because it shows how to use subqueries with eMQuery in SQL. Uh, we're going to give a credit to this uh, wonderful website, uh, the SQLZ, that actually assists us in order to illustrate and hopefully make it understandable to you. Uh, they do have a table by the name world, W-O-R-L-D, and the table has five attributes, five field names, name, continents, area, population, and gross domestic product. So the GDP stands for uh, gross domestic product, meaning that the yearly income for a country. Uh, the name of the country is identified by the attribute name. So when I say country, or uh, I'm referring to name, is actually referring to the country name. Uh, let's go ahead and see how we're going to work with the first one. List each country name where the population is larger than that of Russia. It could be any other country. It could be United States. It could be China. Um, obviously, there's no country greater than China. But uh, in this case, we, if we do know the uh, population of Russia, it would be very easy. Uh, for example, if I have here uh, select, if I say select uh, population, just to illustrate this uh, from world, this is the name of the table, where our country, uh, where our <coughs> name is equal uh, Russia, here we go, uh, it's going to give me the uh, population of Russia, here we go, and this is the population of Russia, but I don't know what the population of Russia, so uh, in case I need to write another query, then I will have to write this down, I will have to write this number, then run another query in order to say, uh, then I will say, uh, uh, select name from world where our population population is greater than uh, this number, which is going to be one four six zero 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 zero, which is going to be very tedious to do it this way because we have to run it into two queries. So this is the name, which is will work, but this is not really what I need to show you. I need to show you that I will still have to do the select of the name from world, okay, <clears throat> where our population, population is greater than, now, because I don't want to really look, what about if I change uh, the country from Russia to United States or from to Bangladesh or to Nigeria, then there is going to be a very, very massive, uh, I mean, very, tedious time that we're going to spend looking for those values in order to put it. That's why we refer to what we call subquery. Subquery will do, will handle the value for us. It's very similar to the original query, except we have to really put it uh, after the greater than, or uh, in many cases, after a certain operator within the SQL. So we're going to go ahead and, first of all, this is going to be the inner query, so it's going to be uh, executed first since it's inside the parentheses. Select uh, pop population. Uh, okay, this is going to be population uh, from world. It's a complete query. Okay, where country, uh, not country name, is going to be Russia. Okay, so this way, as you will notice, this is going to be returning for me the 146 million. Uh, then it's going to be going back to the original table, select name from world where population, each population in the uh, table is greater than the whatever the return value. Obviously, we have seen it as 146 million, and as a result, it's going to list for me the, the name of the country. I could add the population just to make sure, just to assure myself. Uh, that all of these going to be greater than 146 million. Uh, just for additional illustration, as you notice, uh, all these uh, country has larger population than uh, Russia. So again, this is the subquery, and it has to be executed before we could submit that value returned by it to the comparison of the population for every country in the table. I hope this is, has been clear to you because we're going to move to another subquery right away. Uh, the subquery, it says to us, uh, show the countries in Europe, that means specifically Europe, 
uh, with a per capita, the per capita GDP greater than the United Kingdom. Uh, now we're talking about per capita GDP. The per capita GDP is uh, the GDP divided by the population of that country. That is what uh, we mean by per capita. Show that countries in Europe where a per capita GDP greater than United Kingdom. All right, so uh, first of all, <clears throat> Uh, let me go ahead and uh, do it bottom up to, sh to show you what is actually the per capita for United Kingdom to start with. So I'll say here select, okay, select the uh, <clears throat> uh, GDP divided by the population, okay, where uh, name, uh, actually, sorry, from world where name is equal to United Kingdom. Okay, so that's going to return for me the per capita in United Kingdom. Okay, and this is basically 38,000 uh, for 555,000. This is what I'm going to actually uh, see which one of those countries are going to be bigger than this. All right, so this is gave me the constant that I would, if I have known it, I don't have to write the subquery. If I have known it, known this figure already, then I don't have to write the subquery. Now, we go ahead and start from the beginning. We're gonna say here, select, okay. Uh, let's show the country, so the name, okay, uh, uh, from, okay, uh, world, world, that's the name of the table, okay. Uh, where, okay where GDP divided by population for each of those country is greater than greater than the return value by the uh, per capita for United Kingdom. And this actually will become, uh, just again to verify that this is basically is a, a bigger than the 3855, I could still go ahead and show the GDP divided by the population. Just to go ahead and prove to you, I could say it here, uh, income, okay, the income per, per, per person, per capita, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. And as you notice, the income per capita, all of them have to be greater than the 38,000, as you notice, all of these actually. One thing I have left, because I see here United Arab, Arab Emirates, that's not acceptable. I see Qatar is not acceptable. So in order to continue with this, we have to say as income from world where uh, this is where GDP greater and greater than, and we're gonna go ahead and say here, and continent, continent is equal to Europe because we wanted to limit it to Europe. So I'm glad I, did this mistake in order to really go back and see this is going to give me that from world where this is this is going to uh, the gross domestic product divided by the population comparing to the selected but there is another piece to the query which is if the continent must be equal to Europe Europe okay I hope I didn't misspell anything so if I do this one here you will notice that every country that I have gotten now Obviously, all of them are European countries, okay? So there's two requirements. It's a greater than the per capita for the GDP than the United Kingdom, but the other criteria was in Europe. So I hope you can actually take a look at it very, I'm making it here a little bit bigger so you'll be able to see it very nicely.